natural lifers with whole life tariffs that's what I'm going to talk about in this episode yeah, and I'm going to talk about the ones that I, I came across whilst I was in Franklin served my sentence HMP Franklin the uh, maximum security prison so I'll name two on this one and yeah, the first one is Gary Vinter um, but I'll just tell you a little bit about the whole life tariff, what it is actually. A whole life tariff means a natural life sentence where there's no possibility of parole. Where your crimes are deemed so heinous or bad that the only sentence that can pass is a whole life tariff. Yeah, and Gary Vinter from Middlesbrough he made me look small he was fucking about what six foot eight six foot nine massive big tall lad he was doing there uh, he wasn't I'm sure he wasn't even 40 year old when I was in there I was 21 he was I'm sure he was only about my age now I'm 37 now he was round about that age when I was in there in there uh, he got a life sentence when he was younger for killing somebody. I don't remember the exact ins and outs. I'm sure it was another, some lad when he was out pissed. Um, he killed somebody when they were fighting or something. I can't remember exactly. And he done a life sentence, got out. And I don't even think he'd been out that long. Um, and he murdered his girlfriend. And then obviously got locked up and because it was his second murder he got a whole life tariff without the possibility of release now Gary when he was in Franklin seemed at first he wasn't too bad he seemed like an all right lad but um, he was just Gary was just using drugs all the time he would do anything to get his hands on drugs and he uh, he got into a bit of bother with the uh, with the Muslims, <laughs> and he was because of his uh, getting into he was into drugs and he would do anything to get the drugs. And when I talk about drugs, I'm on about smack. He would do anything to get his hands on the drugs. So he was getting his cell into trouble with different firms in the prison because he owed money and he couldn't pay it. Um, and he had a bit of ricks with the Muslims and then he got moved to another jail I'm sure it was Whitemore actually I think it was Whitemore and he actually converted to Muslim and he's walking around with a Muslim cap on and he was only doing it for protection it was nothing to do with the religion at all converted to Muslim just so he could get protection and they, uh, it's an absolute disgrace to the religion to be honest people like that they were just doing it for protection not even not even one bit about the religion but um, anyways like I say he turned out to be a bit of a fucking as what people would call in them prisons a slink turned out to be a slink wasn't a well-liked person converted a Muslim and then actually con where I'm seeing converted back and then he wasn't a Muslim so he was picking and choosing when it suited him which prison he went into whether he's going to get attacked or not so when he went when he ended up back up at Franklin he was no longer a Muslim he was only a Muslim when it suited him and that's what type of person he was but um, the only decent thing he actually done was when he was down Whitemore he was living living in amongst the pedophiles and the nonces as well he actually he was on the same way wing is that Roy Whiten and there's been a documentary out about it and it was actually Gary Vintner that stabbed Roy Whiten in the eye I think it was in the eye I know he attacked him I'm sure it was in the eye yeah that was the only decent thing he'd done <clears throat> but that was yeah that was Gary Vintner um, actually I'll leave that one there for now because when these videos go on too long people get don't take interest but I will be uploading another one about another lad that I was in, I'm seeing lad, another man that I was in there with serving a, a whole life tariff 
But uh, if you keep keep watching, I'll post another one soon. Take care, people.